Hey guys, Zen here, and today I wanted to go over the recent video Ubisoft put up looking at the making of Operation Chimera in Rainbow Six Siege. There's actually a lot of really cool things packed in, and they even go in depth on some of the original concepts of the operator designs. But to start things off, Ubisoft begins by talking about how they design operators from the ground up. Usually when we design new operators, we make them very strong to make sure that we can see what is functional, what is not. You need to see right away what's fun. And then we bring them down to, to something more, more playable. Interestingly enough, they make the ops really powerful to a point of being OP, just so they can find out the exact essence of an operator. Once they tap into that potential, they dial it back and begin to balance. So with Finca, for instance, before she was announced to the public, she used to also give attackers a speed boost, potentially bringing ops up to a five speed, and she also gave them the same thermal vision that Glass has with his scope. Now before we actually got word of Finca from Ubisoft, some of this stuff was leaked. For instance, the speed boost was rumored to be coming with her well before the announcement. Sometimes I feel as though these developers secretly leak these things out just to get player feedback and make slight adjustments before a big reveal. I don't know if you guys know this, but every single season, something is leaked about what's coming in DLC. We'll usually find out about the operators, and most times we'll even find out about the map. Even with Chimera, we knew months ahead that a zombie mode of sorts was leaked. This game relies heavily on the community feedback and input. We also help balance the game as well, so if they are leaking some of this stuff, it really only benefits the game as a whole and would prevent them from releasing something too strong, such as Ella or even Blackbeard. Something we also knew, but they said here is that Finca's scar on her face was given to her by Capcan during sparring, which gives the two a sort of silent mutual respect. And of course, she is good friends with Tachanka, drinking and flirting with him. Now moving into Lion, and here's where things get pretty crazy. Lion used to have a drone that you would throw out and it would stick to surfaces, pinging enemies in a general radius. So he literally was the attacking pulse just with a small drone over a heartbeat sensor. They mentioned that during testing this was fun and it did work, but as they continued to bring all his elements together, they realized he'd work really well as a global and with the hovering drone outside. I like the lion we ended up with, but I still really like the idea of what he used to be and I'd definitely like to see that return in some way in the future. One of the reasons they actually stuck with the design is because it actually fit the character lore a little bit better. Similar to a real lion, once his drone roars, everyone stands still. Like I said, I'd really like to see the old design implemented in some way, obviously not with the same utility because it sounds like a really fun idea. Then they move into Outbreak, the new zombie alien mode coming with Operation Chimera. From the ground up, it was an infection and they really wanted to begin to develop deeper lore with the characters in the game. So that's why when we started seeing the announcements for this, we saw things like Ash's briefing and her and Thermite and Doc all coming together in a room talking because this is the kind of experience they actually actually wanted to build with Outbreak. It wasn't all just about the zombies and trying to bring a co-op mode in, even though that was a major part of it, that wasn't everything. They really wanted to develop a deeper lore with these operators, and it's something that I know the entire community is really appreciative of. I know for me, the second that I saw Doc's face reveal, it was actually pretty crazy, and it really put his voice and his character into perspective. And I think the more that they do this, and the more that they allow themselves to develop the lore for Siege, the player base will only become more attached and more invested with these characters, which I think is a big, big thing, and something that's missing and a lot of multiplayer focused shooters nowadays. Take Battlefield for instance, or even Call of Duty. The characters that you resonate with usually come from the campaign. You don't usually have any characters that you really want to get to know from within the multiplayer of those games. And the only time that you really do is if you're customizing your own character. So I like the fact that they wanted to start to build into that. And the only way that they saw fit to do that was with a co-op like mode. Now they really wanted to make this mode as a way for the game to feel fresh and alive and to bring something entirely separate from the multiplayer. They really didn't go into too much detail with Outbreak. Most everything they talked about we already knew. But I think making the game feel fresh and alive is definitely a high point 
of Operation Chimera because for the past three years of this game, a lot of people have been complaining that it feels samey and things are starting to get repetitive. And honestly, with Operation Chimera, we're starting to see layers upon layers built into this game. With the two operators that are coming, we're seeing a brand new kind of operator with global abilities, abilities that affect the entire map or at least the entire team. And I can't wait until we see the season where we have two defenders because that's also rumored to be coming and hopefully those two defenders introduce global defender kind of gadgets even though we do kind of have that with defenders such as rook he's an operator that actually does have a global ability by dropping his armor for the entire team to use and obviously the defenders have a little bit more of that advantage because they're all packed in as defenders but seeing that new gameplay element come in with the attackers is really exciting and really will make the multiplayer feel super fresh but then on the pve side of things or the co-op side of things we've only ever had terrorist hunt and of course those situations which you can do for some free renown but really nobody does those and terrorist hunt for the longest time has only ever been basically aim practice before you start getting into ranked i know that's how i use it and that's how a lot of other people are using terrorist hunt as well i was actually introduced to siege by terrorist hunt and it's interesting because i never actually wanted to play multiplayer because i was so stuck in terrorist hunt i like the realistic difficulty i like teaming up and getting into that co-op sense and really there's nothing like that uh, as far as a police or rainbow six style game and so i really thought that terrorist hunt was awesome when i first got into siege once i started playing the multiplayer heavily though i basically completely left terrorist hunt behind and exclusively play multiplayer now now with the tts i did play some of the outbreak mode and although i did enjoy myself it wasn't something that i felt compelled to constantly play now that could be a number of things but i'm going to guess that the main reason why it didn't do that for me is because i'm so addicted to the multiplayer of siege uh, anytime that i'm playing really any other game i think to myself constantly i could be in a rainbow six ranked match right now sweating hard and really going crazy uh so i do have that problem and as i've said in previous videos i also struggle with this mode in some way because i've been in some really hardcore pve environments and activities uh, it's definitely something that i think people will play and people will enjoy for the time that it's here and of course you cannot be free so that is an awesome addition to the game i do want to know your thoughts however are you happy with the changes they ended up making to the operators do you ever want to see a five speed ash with thermal vision leave it all down below real quick if you do want to watch the full video i'll have it in a link down below so make sure you go check that out if you did enjoy this video please drop a like and subscribe with notifications if you're new with that being said it's been zen hey i'm out